नेमिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन डिजास्टर्स ओके सो आई सेड इज दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड एज डब्ल्यू एम ओ डब्ल्यू एम ओ इज वर्ल्ड मिटोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अ स्पेशलाइज ऑर्गन ऑफ द यूएन इट ऑपरेट्स एज अ पार्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल काउंसिल फॉर एशिया एंड पैसेफिक ई एस सी ए पी डब्ल्यू एम ओ सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से an apex intergovernmental organization it is an apex intergovernmental organization that looks into climate studies and climate related disasters world meteorological organization now under this organization there are 12 centers uh, six of them are called as a uh, regional uh, specialized meteorological centers meteorological centers इसको आर एस एम सी कहते हैं ये सिक्स सेंटर्स कौन कौन से हैं आई एम डी दिस इज डेली रीजनल सेंटर्स हैं आई एम डी इंडियन मिटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट न्यू डेली देन वी हैव यूएस नेशनल हरिकेन सेंटर यूएस नेशनल हरिकेन सेंटर दिस इज इन मियामी फ्लोरिडा यूएस नेशनल हरिकेन सेंटर दिस इज इन मियामी then we have us central pacific a hurricane center this is in hawaiian islands honolulu then we have japan meteorological agency japan meteorological agency this is in tokyo this is in tokyo then we have meteorological agency of france this is in reunion island meteorological agency france and we have Fiji Meteorological Service. This is in a place called Nadi, N A A D I, Nadi in the Fiji Islands. Japan Meteorological Agency, I M D Delhi, U S National Hurricane Center Miami, U S Central Pacific Hurricane Center Honolulu, Japan Meteorological Agency Tokyo, Meteorological Agency of France in Reunion Islands. and fiji meteorological service nadi on the fiji islands nadi and a a d i nadi on the fiji islands ye six regional specialized meteorological centers r s m c okay six specialized and iske alawa there are six tropical cyclone warning centers uh, t c w c tropical cyclones warning center t c w c okay they are in jakarta melbourne wellington wellington is new zealand then darwin darwin is again australia darwin perth again australia and port moresby this is papua new guinea port moresby m o r s e b y port moresby in papua new guinea in papua new guinea island this is a country so ye 12 centers hain WMO के, so know these names. I repeat, IMD, okay, Hurricane Center Miami, Hurricane Center Honolulu, Japan में Tokyo, France Reunion and Fiji में it is Nadi. Okay, now ये जो regional centers हैं, these are responsible for naming of the cyclones. The regional centers are responsible for naming of the cyclones, and each of them represent a zone. IMD IMD Delhi uh, represents North Indian Ocean it represents North Indian Ocean okay and uh, this is the region between uh, 45 degree east 100 degree east and uh, uh, north of equator ye jo water hai is called as North Indian Ocean the water between 45 degree east 100 degree east and the equatorial latitude so somewhere here uh, this is 45 degree east somewhere here this is 100 degree east and this is equator so this is the north indian ocean okay 45 degree east 100 degree east and north of the equator so every center they represent something like uh, uh, honolulu uh, represents a uh, central pacific uh tokyo represents uh, west and northwest pacific miami 
Miami represents Western Atlantic and Eastern Pacific. Reunion Islands, it represents a Southwest Indian Ocean. And uh, Fiji, jo nadi hai, uh, this represents Southwest Pacific Ocean. So I, I took up a map from ye apka Hurricane Center net mein hai. Look at this, uh, if you can make sense of this one. So Tokyo represents Tokyo represents this part of okay, Western Pacific. Honolulu is Central Pacific. Also, oh, values them. Uh, you can see Honolulu is between uh, 140 degrees, 140 degree west, say 180 degree west. Isko, isko the anti-meridian, 180 degrees meridian. It is Central Pacific. Miami represents the Eastern Pacific and parts of Western Atlantic Ocean. Tokyo represents Western Pacific. Or here 45 degrees. 45 degrees, 100 degree east and equator. This is North Indian Ocean. So whatever happens here is the responsibility of okay, IMD in New Delhi. You need not draw all of this. Itna detail nahi puchega. Have an idea. This is your uh, Southwest Indian Ocean reunion. Okay. Or you dikra ye wala part. This is represented by this comes under tropical one. Nadi represents this part, Southwest okay, Pacific. Yinadi hai Fiji Islands. Mein. So there are 12 centers, I said. Okay, 12 may say some of them are your specialized regional centers and some of them are tropical cyclone warning centers. The more powerful ones are okay, regional specialized mythological center. RSMCs are the more important ones. Baki smaller ones. Hai. Come back now, back to your notes. Just for an idea what, what I mean by this. Now what happens is for North Indian Ocean, uh, there are 13 countries, okay, which includes... Uh, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen, uh, UAE, Iran, Pakistan, uh, India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Maldives, Myanmar, Thailand, and Qatar. Qatar should have been here. These 13 countries, and what happens is each country, okay, each country uh, suggests list of names which IMD can choose from on an alphabetical order of countries. Her country, ko, they give a list. Every country is, it gives a list. And uh, alphabetically, for example, okay, Bangladesh ka pehla chance aega ki aapka naam batao list, I'll pick up a name from your list. After Bangladesh, I'll give a chance to India. India will choose or uh, then Iran will choose. Okay, then probably Pakistan will say uthaying yam list. So each country gives a list of names, and from that list, the IMD, Indian Mythological Department, representing North Indian Ocean, will name it. Now, why are uh, cyclones named? Okay, because in recent years, uh, cyclones have become more frequent. Uh, cyclones have uh, become more impactful and at the same time we can have two or more cyclones impacting uh, different parts of the world because as long as cyclone itna frequent nahi tha koi baat nahi, you can say that's like what tsunami all of us know 2004 tsunami right but imagine god forbid agar har saal do teen tsunami hota now, how do you differentiate ki kaun sa impact kab kar raha tha with what consequence? So earlier, the cyclones were not as many and we were not as concerned. But now we are having a more organized way of disaster management. So cyclones have now become more frequent. Cyclones have become more impactful. If you remember the one we had 1998 May, I think this was the beginning of realization. This was a super cyclone of Odisha. Is ka koi naam nahi hai? 1999, okay. Uh, this one had no names. Uske baad mein, we have been impacted so frequently, now we don't know which one impacted. So they have become more frequent, more impactful, and sometimes we can have two or more cyclones impacting different parts of the world. Chike? Therefore, we need to name cyclones. But remember, hurricanes, hurricanes in the US, they have an older history of naming. Inka naming ho raha hai, since 1980s, say, they have been naming. But tropical cyclones of Indian Ocean, like iska naya shuru kiya humne. Okay, hurricanes ka naming has an older history. It has an older history. But uh, cyclones of 
Indian Ocean have been named only since the last one decade. 21st century, mein, the last 10 odd years, mein, we have been naming the cyclones of Indian Ocean. So hurricanes of US, inka name bahut pahir chala hai. But now we are do doing that for Indian Ocean also. Now, isme kuch rules hai. Rules are that uh, names are not repeated. Names have to be now uh, gender neutral. Uh, US ka history tha. Most of them were named after ladies. Female names. So it will become a, a sexist issue. Okay. Okay. Why only females? It's like uh, okay. we are trying to probably have the gender thing there. So now we want the names to be gender neutral. So I always wondered, ki India may say in US they named uh, Rita, they have named Katerina. So India may kya naam hoga? Mamta, Jaya, even Katerina will do, and Alia will do also. So, but thankfully, okay, we have now gone gender neutral. Okay. And uh, the names should not be, should not be offensive. Offensive to any country or any person. Preferably local names and maximum eight letters. We don't want a long name. We want a simple name which can be recalled easily. The name should be, okay, maximum eight letter names. Eight letter names which is easily recalled and remembered. Yes, not offensive ka matlab hai. Uh, no religion is there. Okay, so no offensive. So uh, if you remember this uh, uh, one called Asani. Uh, Asani was named by Sri Lanka. Uh, then we have this one called as Filin. Filin was named by uh, Philippines. We have one called as Jawad. Jawad was named by Saudi Arabia. India had named uh, Gati. Uh, Gati was named by India. Gati cyclone. Uh, ek, uh, Nisarga. Uh, Nisarga cyclone was named by Bangladesh. Some examples of some countries who have named it. The last one we had was Asani. Asani, I uh, October, November 2022. Asani, it was the Jawad cyclone of Saudi Arabia. Tha. Yes, funny also, FANI. Many of them, yes. Okhi, Titli, Tokat, yes. The name, many names. There's four, five names. De diya Asani was the last one. We had in October, November 22. The next one to name Hoga, the next one will be named as uh, Sitrang. Uh, Sitrang is named by Thailand. So, if 23 may pehla wala hoga, in the ocean, mein, it will be called as Sitrang, S I T R A N G, Sitrang cyclone named by Thailand. Uska bhi I was seeing a list here. Okay, ek pura list hai. You need not know all of this. I'll just show it to you. Uh, Iran, uh, 2020, mein, Nivar, Burevi, Myanmar had named. Okay, so all of these names have been used. So Asani was the last one. Ye may likha, it should have been October, Sri Lanka Asani. The next one will be Sitrang. UAE wala hoga Mandos, Yemen will be Mocha. So in sequence, they'll pick up these names. Okay, aap dekho, it's alphabetical. Sri Lanka names, then Thailand will name, then UAE will name, and then Yemen will name. Ye pura, they're following alphabetical order for Indian Ocean. Just have an idea. So what they have done is, I said, uh, Indian Ocean, North Indian Ocean, mein, there are 13 countries. In 2020, each has uh, suggested a list of 13 names. Tabi, the list may hamare pass already 169 names ka repository hai. Hopefully, it lasts us 2 saal. Imagine, 2 saal kadar mein inam khatam ho gaya. Means what? How many cyclones we have had in them? Yeah, it is named from where the cyclone comes. Just like I remember, uh, this one called Filin. Filin had come towards India, but this was named by Philippines. So Philippines may huwa to originate. So they named it. And the Filin moved westwards towards India. It was on Bay of Bengal also. The naming happens in the place where the cyclone originates. Achha, by the way, one more point I forgot to mention. In conditions, mein, in conditions, mein, a cyclone is named only when its speed is more than 62 kilometers an hour. Otherwise, usko hum naam nahi dete.